Well, we've just seen Portrait of Jason, so now I can finally spill the beans in terms of talking about it. I don't think he knew what he was signing up for, and that as the period of time it starts out, and he's he thinks he's just going to be a it's going to be a funny night with Shirley, and he's going to be filmed. And he's drinking martinis, and by the end of the film, he's lying on the ground crying and asking for a bottle, and and, and so all of those elements I found. Did she cross the line? It was, those were the disturbing elements for me, and I wonder how, how you felt. Well, <laughs> I felt she was exploiting him, and, uh -huh. and the reason was not because at all, because of, of trying to reveal a person at all. Uh -huh. um, I just feel if you, you basically make someone drunk in front of your camera, that's exploitative. Uh -huh. Okay, and who cares if the reality is that this person does drink a lot? You're the one supplying the liquor. They were handing him the bottle. He dra he drank an entire fifth of whatever he was drinking. Yes. I mean, an enormous amount. So much so that at the end, when he is crying, I see a drunk crying, mm -hmm. and I think only a drunk crying rather than his soul is getting revealed. But within all of that, and I had all those feelings too, but within that, what I thought the, the most genius film, moment in the film for me is when he, you know, as I said, it's all this, it's this artifice, but and God knows what, if it's three in the morning by that time or four in the morning, but he looks at the, cam you know, he's looking at the camera and he's looking obviously at the people outside and he's like, are you getting what you want? Do you, do you love me? Do you, you know, he is looking for that approval that um, I thought it was, the, that it was, he was crying out. That was the real, whoever the real Jason is in that moment. And I feel that sometimes, you know, they say the, you know, the camera steals your soul. Mm -hmm. That is where for me, what she captured in that moment, um, it was, you know, it was very frightening, but as a, as a viewer, I thought she did capture something um, organic. Well, I think that's why the film has been viewed as, as so significant. Uh-huh. And, you know, it may just be a personal thing for me. I don't like the idea of getting someone yes. drunk for your camera. You yes. know, just sort of like, no, you don't go there. So. But, you know, and again, that is, is that your job as a documentarian, each subject is completely different. And did you ever feel that you had crossed the line in any way when you're filming no, someone? No, no. I, I don't think, given what I'm interested in doing, and um, I like to do the opposite, mm -hmm. so that basically the filmmaking process brings even more dignity to the person yes. and to their lives and what it means, as opposed to instead of stripping them. Mm -hmm. Till they get down to the point that Jason did. Well, talk about an arc of films that we have <laughs> gone through tonight. Di I love documentaries, and uh, it's been fantastic having you here. Well, thank you very, very much. I've enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. And coming up, we've got one more documentary from another trailblazing woman. It's Penelope Spheris. She's going to be here throughout the month talking about Decline of Western Civilization, which is the film we're going to see right now. Dracula 